Um, so far, Budapest have been disappointed. So far, so good. So let's keep going. Show you more than a was. So in Hungarian, help is Shaggy Chain. But by the time you finish this word, you're dead, oh, right? So just, uh, so just shout help. Good, uh, just keep going. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, just to get the situation clear, that's why it helps. Yeah. On the opposite side is where our president works. That's why it helps. On the opposite side is where our president works. This is only the office of the president. Otherwise, he lives in a big villa where the rich does on the side of the hills. As far as you can see on the other side, this is still part of the capital. So Buddha is much bigger than you would believe looking at it from the past side because everything is hidden behind the first here, right? But it's bigger. Twa Pest is twice as big as Buddha still because Pest is flat. It was much easier to build in the territories when the population started to grow in the 20th century, especially after the second uh, war. Good. So that's where our president ranks. The other yellow building is the Prime Minister's office. That's an old uh, monastery and cloister. But the Prime Minister was possibly jealous for the President's view, so uh, he kicked out the theatre operating in the building and he moved in. However, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. He even managed to add a balcony to the building on the other side, which never existed there. You know? and, uh, the UNESCO World Heritage Landscape is a UNESCO World Heritage Landscape, not to change how it looks like. But as the president or the prime minister says, that it could happen. So, prime minister, president over there, and we are going to continue away in that direction. Have you seen that big white steeple? That's the Matthias Church, so that's how far we are making it. The Matthias Church, Fisherman's Bastion, and the middle of you. using the original gothic finds that remain, but there was not much, so otherwise he just used his imagination. We created this, this one, this beautiful view. But at the end he was a little bit embarrassed because what he created was so wonderful and high and wide and gothic and decorative that it was not fitting in the landscape anymore. Especially not the leafy little hill, you know, with the brick wall and the And that's the reason why we have the fisherman's question, which you see down there. The three towers, the white wall, is what we call the fisherman's passion. By the same guy, after the Matthias church was completed, he put another white structure in the foreground of the church. So when now you stand on the Pesh side and you look up on the council area, the first thing that you see is the white staircase of the fisherman's passion, then the white wall, then the towers, and on the in between the towers comes the colorful room of the church. The colorful roof, which I do think and I do know that calls your attention as well. These ceramic tiles are made in a Hungarian factory and we are really proud of it. It's a perfect outdoor use material, not just decorative, but it's waterproof, fire resistant and frost resistant and it cleans itself. Yeah, when it rains, then the surface of the ceramics are so smooth, then the raindrops are going to bring down all the corrosion, all the pollution from the top. That's what we love. Good. So let's go and walk down to the Fisherman's Bastion, try to aim the middle part of it, the corner. And that's where we are going to take a little look on the back side. So then we are trying to find you a staircase where you can see.
commercial court for with that, right? You can laugh about it, but we have the longest parliament of the world. Still, Romania appears to even not to us. Yeah, that's right. So, um, next time, guys, you have to go to Bucharest to see an even larger thing, right? But that was the Westminster that inspired us to put the parliament next to the river, which is a wonderful choice. Otherwise, we plan to build it on the Elizabeth Square, where we started the tour, where the ferry square stands. How much have you seen of the ferry square? Only half of it, right? When next to the river, you also have a reflection of the building on the surface of the river, especially after dark, when the lights are coming up. So that's like having two parliaments for one, two in one business. When Freddie Mercury was here, he took a boat cruise. It's a lovely idea, otherwise, to check out the lights of the city. And when a boat is passing by the parliament, he asks if it's on sale and how many rooms it has, if it's enough for the servants. What? Yeah. Rude! Really? Just after communism. Rude, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. But later we learned the Hungarian folklore song that he actually was singing on the Hungarian concert. There was a lovely thing, so. You could come for us, okay? He compensated this little jokey that he was making on the way. So that's the parliament story. Good. The bridge down there is called the... Chain Bridge. Nobody said Charles Prince. Yeah. All the little cute kitties have survived. Very good. So, huh? Good. Excellent. Any questions you may have? So, originally the church was established after the Mongol invasion, so somewhere in the middle of the 13th century. But there are only a couple of pieces that you can see of the original church when you go inside. So what you see was created for 1896, for the thousand years anniversary of it. Oh yeah, 96. That's the height of the parliament and of the basilica's dome as well. They were made equal because we couldn't decide what's more important, the church or the state, you know. Who could tell? What's more important, politics or your eternal soul, right? I mean, yeah, it's a hard question. The communists had a different answer. Yeah. So they placed the four meter tall red star on the top of the parliament stone up to the red line, making the state more equal than the church. That was also a also part of our history. If you would like to learn more about communist history and the good news, is that you don't have to don't have to stop touring with us now here but you can come back in the afternoon we will have a jewish district park and a communism tour as well and a street art tour for the ones who are really into bohemian art and graffitis around the town so uh yeah drum do don't drop tears we're gonna be here for you in your service every single day of your holiday so come back and tour with us otherwise this is the end of our walk now it's going tired yeah <laughs> so thank you very much for spending so much time with me i hope you did enjoy it i hope you enjoyed it enough to leave a comment for us on twitter my turn if you're planning to do it then please leave one for me on my personal website because the company already has more than a thousand and four hundred reviews that's enough for them right? but i'm trying to build my own brand so i printed out a little qr code for you that will take you to my personal trip advisor so yeah that's a clickbait campaign yeah that's right i know but that's that's how we work that's how tourism works and if you enjoyed the tour enough to leave us a financial help a little tip then you can also do that sir so this is going to be the link for our trip advisor sign. Place it down. A tip comes here in my trip.